In today's video, I'm going to show you how to don a pair of socks by hand. The technique that I'm going to show you today is probably one of the most common sock darning techniques where you simply create a weave effect by weaving yarn across each other horizontally as well as vertically. Hi, my name is Matilda and welcome back to Miss Matti, the channel where I share all about how to live an awesome and sustainable life. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to don a pair of socks by hand. This technique that I'm going to show you today is probably one of the most common ones you will come across when you learn how to darn a pair of socks. And that is because it's a, sim a very simple and sturdy technique where you weave yarn across each other horizontally as well as vertically to create a weave effect. But there are loads of other donning techniques out there and this video is part of a mini series where I go through a few other donning techniques as well. I have one video on general tips on what to think about when it comes to donning, the different type of materials you use, the tools you need, anything else that you might need to think about which I will not go into in depth in this video. But I'm also going to release very shortly a video on Swiss darning, also known as duplicate stitch, scotch darning, as well as machine darning. And if you're interested in those videos and want to be notified when they are live, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will not miss when those videos are live. And if you're watching this video once they are live, I will link them both in the cards as well as in the description down below if you want to check those out. To distinguish this technique from the other donning techniques, I will in this tutorial call it the warp and weft donning techniques. But if you know any other names of this technique, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Because I couldn't find any specific name for this technique, and um, but because I'm sharing so many other techniques, I just want to know if there is a specific name for it. And if you do know one name, leave a comment down below so we can all learn from each other. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. To don your socks, you will need yarn. To match the look on my socks, I will use this blue yarn on one of the heels that need to be repaired. And I will use this red yarn on the front of the foot, as well as a darker red on the other sock heel. A darning mushroom or egg, a darning needle. If you wonder which yarn to use, how to pick a darning needle, and if you really need a darning mushroom or egg, I've created a separate video where I share general tips and tricks on darning. I will link to that video both in the cards above as well as in the description down below. I will start by darning the heel in blue. And then I will show you how to darn in the red yarn so it will be easier for you to see. Put your darning mushroom or egg or whatever object you will use inside your sock and stretch slightly around the area that you will darn. Then thread your darning needle with yarn and carefully weave in and out around the edge of the hole in the sock. This is done to reinforce the outer edge of the hole before beginning to darn. Do not pull the yarn tight, rather make sure to keep the yarn a little loose while ensuring that it lays flat and smooth. Do not pull a knot in the yarn either, this can cause blisters and sore spots on your foot and you do not want that. I'm speaking from experience here. Now it's time to create the warp. Once you have loosely stitched around the hole, begin to create the warp over the hole. The warp is the lengthwise yarn that will create the structure for the weft to be woven through. Thank you. 
I often feel at this stage that it looks like a complete mess. But be patient. Once you begin, you will slowly see how it all comes together. Now it's time to create the weft. The weft is woven over and under the warp. To begin weaving the weft yarn, begin on either the top or the bottom edge of the hole. Start at one end and weave your darning needle and yarn over one of the warp yarns and then under the next. You will continue weaving over and under until you get to the other side. Once you get to the other side, you will turn around and go the other way, but this time you will go under the warp thread you went over on the previous round and over the warp thread where you went under on the previous round. Then repeat these two rows until your hole is covered. The aim is to create a woven effect that locks the yarn in so that it stays in place. Now it's time to weave in the yarn tails. I like to weave in them towards the middle of the dawn, but sometimes I weave them in vertically or horizontally too if I think it might make the finished result to look better. The next step I'm doing here is optional, and that is to weave in some extra threads to make the dawn look tidier. You do not need to do this to have a strong repair, as the warp weft dawning technique is pretty strong and sturdy already. This is mainly to make it look good. And the sock dawning is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and you might also want to check out these videos over here. And until next time, bye!